Hey, I've got another idea for you on how to reduce your carbon footprint in this age of global warming. Hi, I'm Brian Peterson, author of Understanding Exposure and Understanding Close-Up Photography, as well as Brian Peterson's Field Guide to Understanding Photography. What I've got to suggest to you, I think, is an idea that could keep you at home for weeks, if not months, because it's that good. I mean, you could spend hours and weeks doing what I'm about to share with you. You might be asking yourself, what on earth has he got in his hand? Well, this is simple cooking oil, of which I have placed in this casserole dish in front of me some water. I've added the cooking oil already, and I swoosh it around a little bit, and I'm sure you're familiar with how this might look because you've made spaghetti at one point where you add some oil to the water so the spaghetti doesn't stick. What you then end up with on the surface of your spaghetti water, as well as this particular casserole dish in front of me, are these wonderful, all different size circles of the oil sitting on top of the water. Why? Because oil and water don't mix. So there they are surfacing, excuse me, floating on the surface of the water. And what I've done, a real simple setup, it's a casserole dish, a couple of glasses to elevate the dish above one of my uh, retired colorful shirts from a company called Jams World. Don't wear the shirts all that much anymore, but I do in fact use them in my work sometimes, today being an example, where I'm now using all this phenomenal color as a backdrop. I'm going to focus with my macro lens onto the surface of this water where it will be revealed all these numerous shaped circles against the backdrop of out of focus colors from reds, yellows, blues, purples, greens. It's pretty um, amazing when you start looking through that camera, which we're going to do here in a minute. However, if you don't have a macro lens, not to worry. You can use any combination of extension tubes or the Canon 500D close-up lens. And if you're going to use the 500D close-up lens, I'd strongly recommend you use it on your telephoto zoom. If you're going to use the extension tubes, I would strongly recommend you use that on a lens whose focal lengths range from 50 to 70 up to 100. Uh, as far as extension tubes go, I'm a big fan of the Kenko brand, K-E-N-K-O. Regarding the shoot itself, the parallel camera to the water itself, which is always critical in close-up work, is such that we can get away with using an aperture here of f8, f11. So with that in mind, I'm going to set the aperture, f11, there it is. This, this is so incredible, folks. I, you have no idea. You're going to have to try this out. I hope you do because it's that amazing. So there I am at f11. I'm going to adjust the exposure until I have a two-thirds minus two-thirds underexposure indication, which in this case is f11 at a 640th of a second. No, I'm sorry, 500. Here we go. There, now we're at a 500th at minus two-thirds. And here we go. I'm all set. Take a look at that. You gotta admit, that's pretty amazing. To think that you didn't travel anywhere to take the shot other than outside your back door onto the patio. Whether you live in an apartment or you've got a home, it makes no matter. You can certainly set this shot up pretty much anywhere where you got a space of about three feet square. I hope you've enjoyed this particular tip and until next time, this is Brian Peterson saying, you keep shooting.